During a round, if your ball is moved or lifted by someone else, it must be replaced either by you or that person. Simply replace that ball on the spot it was lifted or moved from. If that spot isn't exactly known, simply estimate it and replace the ball there. You are entitled to substitute a ball only if the ball in play has become cut or cracked during play of the hole, not if it is just out of shape. You are no longer required to announce the intention to lift to another person or to give that person a chance to observe the process or examine the ball. When you decide your ball in a bunker is unplayable, under the modernized rules, you have an extra option that lets you drop back on the line outside the bunker for a total penalty of two strokes. Imagine a straight line running from the hole through where your unplayable ball is. Identify a spot on that line as far behind the bunker as you like. Measure or estimate a one club length wide relief area on either side of and behind that spot. Then, drop a ball in that area. Your drop ball must first land in and be played from the relief area. There is no longer a penalty for moving loose impediments when your ball lies in a bunker. However, some bunker restrictions continue to exist. For example, you're still not allowed to touch the sand with your club behind or in front of your ball when making a practice swing or when making your backswing. The term penalty area has been introduced and will replace areas previously known as water hazards. If you find your ball in a penalty area and want to play it from there, the same rules apply as when playing a ball from the fairway or the rough, now known as the general area. Before making a stroke in a penalty area, you're allowed to move loose impediments, make practice swings that touch the ground or any water, and ground your club near your ball. When your ball is on the putting green, your caddy is now allowed to mark, lift, and clean it with or without the player's approval. If your caddy has marked and lifted your ball, it can either be replaced by you or your caddy. Under the modernized rules, when you are assessing the line for your putt, there will be no penalty if you, your caddy or partner touches the putting green to point out where you should aim. This includes touching the green with your finger, club or the flag stick. Under the modernized rules, there is no penalty if you accidentally move your ball or ball marker on the putting green. You simply replace your ball or ball marker on its original spot if, for instance, you accidentally move your ball in making a practice swing or in preparing for your stroke, drop your ball marker on your ball and move it, or you move your ball with your foot and cause it to move or the marker to move. The modernized rules include a new form of stroke play called maximum score, where a player's or size score for a hole is capped at a maximum number of strokes set by the committee. Examples include net double bogey, two times par, or a fixed number such as six, eight, or 10 strokes. This means if you pick up your ball without finishing a hole, you get the maximum score for that hole. To help pace a play, you are encouraged to stop playing a hole when you reach the maximum or when you realize a score of less than the maximum will not be possible. The rules encourage prompt pace of play by all players as it has a huge impact on your group and everyone on the course. It is recommended that you play promptly throughout the round, play ready golf if it's safe and convenient, and strive to play each stroke in less than 40 seconds. Most importantly, if there's a chance your ball may not be found, you should play a provisional ball.
If you accidentally move your ball while searching for it, there is no penalty. If your ball has moved, replace it back on its original spot, and if the original spot is not known, simply estimate it, including the lie of the ball, and replace it at the estimated spot. During a round, you are limited to no more than 14 clubs and generally must not replace damaged or lost clubs. To simplify the procedure for damaged clubs during a round, a player will be allowed to keep using that club or have it repaired, even if it was done in anger. A player will only be allowed to replace a club during the round if it was damaged by an outside influence or natural forces or by someone other than the player or his or her caddy.